Hello, Manny, and welcome to part two of Manny Ramirez. All right. <clears throat> no, where was I? Oh, yeah. His season was cut short when he strained his left oblique in late August during a Yankees series. But he did return to the lineup for the final home set of the season. In 2007, he had the highest fielding percentage, .990, among left fielders in the American League. Tied for second in the major league. He was ranked sixth highest in range factor of all AL left fielders, 1.72. 16th in both leagues, but had the lowest zone rating among MLB left fielders with 100 plus games. So he made two errors during the 2007 season in left field and tied for fifth overall in the major league in assists from left field. In the postseason, Ramirez hit a walk-off three home run in Game 2 of the American League Division Series against the Los Angeles Angels of Anaheim. In the fourth inning of the series' final game, Ramirez combined with teammate David Ortiz hit back-to-back -back home runs off pitcher Jared Weaver. The home run tied... On August, October 13, Ramirez hit his 23rd postseason home run, passing Williams for the most of all time. He held the Red Sox... Re to reach and win the 2007 World Series where they swept the Colorado Rockies. In the 2007 full season, Ramirez batted for .34 in four home runs and 16 RBIs. On May 31st, 2008, Ramirez hit his 500th home run against Baltimore Orioles pitcher Chad Bradford at Camden Yards in the seventh inning on the first hit. He became the 24th player in MLB history to do so. He joined two other Red Slayer, Jimmy Fox, and Williams in the Cruiser Home Run Club. A heated altercation between Ramirez and teammate Kevin Euclid took place on June 5th during a game at Fenway against the Tampa Bay Rays. The Boston Globe Secretary said that Euclid was angry that Ramirez had been slow to join a bench clearing brawl early in the game. The altercation may have also may have also been caused by Ramirez objecting to what he believed was excessive, complaining by Euclid about the strike zone. As well as first bench baseman's for chant for sometimes throwing his helmet in frustration and making it out. Before the fifth inning, Ramirez was caught on Ness and Garrett taking a swing at Euclid. Ramirez and Cole Euclid yelled at each other and had to be separated by teammates, coaches, and trainers. Euclid headed out to the field still yelling at Ramirez while Ramirez was escorted in the tunnel. Leading to the clubhouse by bench goals, Brad Millis and trainer Paul Lessard. Later in the season, during a series with the Houston Astros, Ramirez had a physical altercation with elderly Red Sox Child Security Secretary Jack McCormick. The two were arguing over McCormick's inability to fill Ramirez's large game day request for 16 tickets to the game in Houston. Ramirez pushed the 64-year-old McCormick to the ground. After telling him, just do your job, the two were quickly separating. Ramirez later offered a public apology, but did not apologize to McCormick in person until 2014. The matter was dealt with in internally, and Ramirez was fined $10,000 to $15,000. So basically, he had two altercations. On July, or I don't know how many he had. Anyways, back to this. On July 25th, they're sitting out one game against Seattle Mares with a sore knee. Ramirez was slated to start against Danny. Several minutes before the game, however, he informed manager Terry Francona through a bench coach that he would not be playing. During the series, Ramirez was directed to an area hospital for MRIs on both his knees. The results showed no damage. When back in action, Ramirez frequently failed to run out ground ball. Assuming that this was due to his displeasure about his contact situation, track situation, Many Red Sox fans report, including Don Shaughnessy of the Red Boss Club, called Ramirez to be traded. All right. Los Angeles Dodgers, 2008 to 2010. On July 21st, 2008, Ramirez was traded to the Los Angeles Dodgers in a three way deal. The Boston Red Sox acquired outfielder Jason Bay and minor league infielder Josh Wilson. And the Pittsburgh Pirates got infielder Andy LaRoche and pissing prospect Brian Morrison Dodger and outfielder Brandon Moss and pitching pitcher Craig Hansen from the Red Sox. Ramirez has always worn uniform number 24, but the Dodgers retired that number in honor of Hall of Fame man Walter Allison. Ramirez instead chose to wear number 99 with the Dodgers.
Ramirez was named the NL Player of the Month for August 2008. He hit 4.415 with 7 doubles, 9 home runs, 25 RBI, and 21 runs scored during the month. He finished the season with the Dodgers hitting a .396 batting average, 17 home runs, and 53 RBI. Ramirez finished the season with 37 home runs and 100 home runs batted in. Among all major leaguers, he finished third in batting average, second in slugging percentage, and third in OBS. <sighs> with Ramirez in the lineup, the Dodgers won the NL West, then swept the Chicago Cubs in a division series before losing the NLCS to the eventual World Series winner, Philadelphia Phillies, in five games. During the playoffs, Ramirez hit .520. With four home runs, two doubles, 11 walks, and 10 RBIs. Ramirez was fourth in the voting for the 2008 NL MVP award. With 138 points behind Albert Pujols, Ryan Howard, and Ryan Braun. After the Dodgers lost in the list, Ramirez was asked about his future. Gas is up and so am I. Was his reply indicating that he expected to be valued highly in the free market. After long the negotiations that dragged in their starts for Jimmy Ramirez signed two year $45 million contract with the Los Angeles Dodgers on March 4th. On May 7th, Ramir 2009, Ramirez was suspended 50 games for violating the Joint Drug Prevention and Treatment Program established by MLB and the MLB Players Association in 2004. In the announcement by MLB, Ramirez was suspended for unspecified violation of the agreement section 8.G.2. Shortly afterward, Ramirez stated that a, phys a physician had unknowingly prescribed the banned medication. After consulting with the player association, Ramirez waived his right to challenge the suspension. According to the ESPN report, the drug used by Ramirez was human chronic gonadotrin, HCG, a woman's fertile drug typically used by steroid users to restart the body's natural testosterone production as they came up come up with steroid cycle. It's, it is similar to Clomid, the drug Jason Giambi and others use as a, as clients of Balco. Testing revealed artificial test to As a condition for returning to the center, Ramirez was subjected to the three additional drug tests per year in addition to the minimum of two per player. During his suspension, Ramirez was allowed to work out at the Dodgers facilities and he trained with Dodger coach Manny Mota. To get back into shape, he was allowed a short rehab in the minor leagues. Ramirez played two in the minor leagues. He played several games at the single A inland Empire 66ers, homering his first at bat with the 66ers. Ramirez returned from ascension and became his starting role with the Dodgers on July 3rd against the San Diego Padres. On July 31st, Ramirez hit his 537 career home run, passing Mickey Mantle for 15th place on the all-time home run list. On July 30th, the New York Times reported that Ramirez tested positive for performance-enhancing drugs during Major League Baseball's 2003 survey testing. Ramirez, a member of the Boston Red Sox at the time, was among 104 Major League players test positive. On April 10, 2010, Ramirez recorded his 2,500 career base hit with an infield single against the Florida Marlins. <coughs> Excuse me. On April 18, against the San Francisco Giants, Ramirez hit his 540th career home run to tie Mike Smith's for the 14th place on this all on the all-time home run list. He is 549th to Bass Smith on May 28th against the Colorado Rockies. On June 19th, he is home run in a second game back at Fenway Park. In 2010, Ramirez had three separate stints on the disables. When he returned from the third top trip on August 21st, he apparently had lost his starting job to Scott but said it. As a pinch hitter, he was ejected on August 29th by home plate umpire Gary Setterstorm for one pitch into his at bat for arguing a strike call. That appearance was his final one in a Dodger uniform. Chicago White Sox, 2010. 
Ramirez was claimed on waivers by the Chicago White Sox. The Dodgers awarded Ramirez to the White Sox on August 30th, receiving no prospects, but with the White Sox assuming that $3.8 million remaining on Ramirez's salary, he had .261 with only one home run in his 24 games with the White Sox, and then became free agent at the conclusion of the season. Tampa Bay Rays, 2011. On January 21, 2011, Ramirez agreed to a one-year, $2 million deal with the Tampa Bay Rays. While the Rays also signed his former Red Sox teammate, Johnny Damon, in a package deal sent by agent Scott Forrest. The 38-year-old Ramirez abruptly retired on April 8, 2011, after batting .059 in just five games. Ramirez reportedly tested positive for banned performance-enhancing drug in his spring training charges. His first sample or A sample was retested and again returned a positive result. Ramirez filed a notice to appeal and a second sample or B sample was tested under observation by Ramirez. This is representatives. When the B sample also says positive, he dropped the appeal and told me that he would immediately retire. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video, man. Thank you for watching. Bye.